welcome to this MySQL 101 video. I'm Lefred, and today we're going to see specific data types, numbers, how we can store numbers in MySQL. So when we discuss about numbers, we have two types of numbers, integers numbers and the numbers with a decimal point. So float decimals uh, like that, right? So to store integers in MySQL, we have multiple data types uh, available, and it will depend on the value we want to store in this data type. Why do we have these uh, specific uh, different types? It will depend uh, about the, the size or the value we want to store it and the amount of storage they're going to use, storage on disk or in memory index for, for the pages, right? So um, in MySQL, to store these integers, we have tiny int. So it, this is uh, a type we use to store small values of integers. So the, the range is from minus 128 to 127. Then we, and it uses one byte only. Then we have a small int that uses two bytes, medium int. The most known one, it's int or integer that uh, can store values uh, very already uh, quite large, as you can see, and it uses four bytes of storage. Then, if we want to store very large number, we use big int. So, as you can see, big int it's a very large value. But if this range is not enough, and you only need um, positive numbers, so no need of negative, you can use this unsigned keyword. So when we use unsigned, we remove all the negative part and we use all um, the, the storage uh, available to store positives, meaning we will double the value plus one. So if you remember, tiny in was minus uh, 128 to 127, now, if you do unsign, it, this tiny int will become from 0 to uh, 255. And uh, you can see it doubles the capacity uh, of every um, uh, data type for integers. Something also very important is that you can see with the big int unsign, this number is very large. And this is what we use when we create a primary key if we need um, a table that is very, very large. For example, when you use MySQLs with generated invisible primary key, GIPK mode, this is in the backend what uh, it creates. So it creates a non-signed uh, big int, in fact. So here, in this example, you see I created an int unsigned uh, auto-increment primary key for this table. Another keyword that was common in MySQL, it's uh, zero fill. So zero fill has been deprecated in MySQL 8. And if you try to use it, you will have this warning message um, that you can see here now. Now, if you want to um, store decimals, numbers, or number with uh, a decimal point, you have two types. So the one with a fixed point, so where we know exactly where the um, decimal point needs to be and how many uh, digits they are before and after the comma or the floating point type where it's uh, an approximate value. So decimal or also known as numeric uh, can store the exact decimal value with uh, what the user specified as precision and the scale. Right? So for example, if we do decimal with 10 and 2 as parameter uh, for uh, the decimal, it will mean that we can store 10 digits and two of these 10 digits will be after the decimal point. The maximum is 65 digit for decimal. So for decimal, this column are also stored using binary format and they pack uh, this um, digit by four bytes. And also what it's before and after um, the decimal point are uh, divided. So it means that if we use decimal 18, and nine as parameter. What it means, it means that there will be nine digits before and after the, the decimal points. Nine, it's four bytes, so it is four bytes and four bytes. It means it will use eight bytes to store uh, this um, decimal value. If we use 20 and six, meaning that there are 14 
before and uh, the uh, the decimal point and six after it will use four plus three and three again so it in 10 bytes now if you want to also store uh, decimals but you don't know really where the decimal is and you have a, a, an approximate value we use float so uh float will use four to eight bytes uh, to store the data depending on the precision right and it use one single parameter so in this example in the, the first line you can see that i use float seven before you could also um, define and specify the amount of digits after the decimal but this has been deprecated for floats so we don't use that anymore and in mysql 8 we have also um, deprecated other um, terms or other types that were uh, almost synonym it is double double precision and real so now in mysql you have to store all the integers value the decimals or float that's it so thank you for watching and see you soon for the next video. Bye.